We will call the uh, May 16, 2023 Purchasing Committee to order. Carl, will you call the roll, please? Yes, sir. Commissioner Phillips? Present. Commissioner McAdave? Here. Commissioner Boyd? Here. Commissioner Gooch? Commissioner Johnson? Present. Commissioner P? Here. Mayor? Here. Thank you. So we have a quorum. Um, Mr. Vice Chairman, do we have a reading of the minutes? I looked at them and found them to be in order, and I make a motion that we approve it. We have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. All those in favor of approving minutes say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. The minutes are approved. Carlo, I think we have some new bids, correct? Yes, sir. I think we have three on the agenda today. We do. We have the office. Let's uh, do that one first. Okay. Steve Spence, ladies and gentlemen, the venerable <laughs> WT Steve Spence. You know what venerable means, don't you? No, sir. That's one step below being a pope, being a saint. So you're yes. almost there. Okay. Almost. Steve <laughs> <laughs> Workins. Yes, sir. <laughs> really hard. Well, he's been I've been told it. by the sheriff that you ain't, you're not going to get there. <laughs> yeah. He's cutting you off. Yeah. Yes. Put him on the spot. <laughs> I have to go back and watch them and see him. Oh, he's going like this. He's going like this. Okay, so our first bid is from Merriman Farr. And uh, explain what these are, please, for the record, what we're, what we're opening. Yes, sir. Well, uh, back in February, one of our hot water here, we had four hot water heater tanks. And one of them uh, had a spot coming on the, the yoke coming out of the tank itself, unrepairable. And it's been leaking. We need to replace the whole tank. So we're replacing the whole tank? Yes, sir. Yes. We have four of them. We replaced each one. What's the capacity? 750 gallons. We just replaced these back in 2013, 2014. We replaced all four of them. And right now, the other three look good. Just this one that's got a spot. Is there, just off, just off topic a little bit, but if since we just had one of the four that need replacing, is there reason for that? It you? controls half of the, the jail. This tank does of the hot water, the shower, so. So it's used more than the other ones? Yeah, that's what oh, yeah. I was getting yeah. to. Well, it's the, the west side of the jail, and the other one's used okay. the, so it. it so it, to, in reference to Chairman Phillips' question, so it's getting used a little bit more than the other Yes, three, which yes. is why it's warm. Okay. Yes, sir. And if we shut it off, then we're going to have complaints about no hot water. No, no, I, I get that. I was just trying to figure out why we're replacing one out of the four if there, if there was some kind of manufacturing defect that we failed to uh, fine when on installation, but what was the reason? Yes, and you're telling me it's a utilization. Yes, issue. and we, we think it's due to the hard water, and we want to look at the about putting a water softener in there. Okay, the, the inside of the tank is glass, oh. it's just the, the middle part that's okay. coming out. I'm sorry, John. What are you two doing? <laughs> Let's separate you two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to explain these? Yes, sir. This is um, a okay. Lot well, let me back, back up. Carly, have you read the opening? Have you read the bids? Do we want to read the? Your, we got three responses, correct? Uh, two. Two. Uh -huh, yes, only two for this one. Wait, oh, go ahead and read that one. The Merriman Fair um, bid it at ninety-seven thousand four hundred eighty-seven dollars to replace the tank, piping material, labor to to install and to remove the old tank machinery. Um, to move the tank in and then the warehouse pickup and delivery. Yes. Give, give that number again. $97,487. Thank you. On review, does it look like it's in order? Yes, it does. Okay. Did you say it were two bids? Yeah, but she hadn't opened that second one. Oh. She's opened it. <clears throat> yeah. I thought you said there were three. No, okay. Okay. no that's fine. Three different bits. Right. And who's the second one? This from? one is from Demand Mechanical. Demand Mechanical? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep going. Oh, 
Yeah, stamp this one as the original. <laughs> Something new. Deputy, when you get ready. Yes, when, sir. At your leisure. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. This one's in order also, and they they bid in uh, seventy thousand three hundred. Oh. Seventy thousand three hundred. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All the equipment, neat specs, both of them. Yes, sir. That seems quite a discrepancy. <laughs> yes. When we um, first started looking at this back in February, we got prices from different vendors, and they was big difference in all three of them. Also. Really. Yes, sir. Chairman P, you had a knitted eyebrow look. Did you want to say something? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I want to say a lot of something. <laughs> I sent a message to the Venerable uh, to check into a uh, tankless water system, which I gave him some information and yes. did. <clears throat> and the prices that I was getting and heard were in the $30,000 range. Now, like I said, I'd like to hear yes, sir. what you found and, you know, the capacity may not be where you want or whatever, but, you know, $90,000, $97,487 or even $70,300 seems a big leap from the prices I was getting from people I called. Yes, sir. And I did call uh, Mr. Grisham. He was the engineer that um, Chairman P recommended me to call and talk to. Spoke to him about the tankless water heaters. He said it would be have to take 15 to replace this one tank, we'd have to re-plumb, because we got six inch water lines coming into the, the sheriff's office, and we'd have to bring it down to uh, three quarter inch for the hot water heaters. And he said, we said whoa, 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 You're talk you said it's six down to, a, six inch down to a three quarter? To, to put the hot, the water tanks in. We're gonna have to put put in some pressure relief valves too, yeah, I yeah, think. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But he was said, uh, after the conversation, he said it costs us more money in the long run to replace us having to redo the whole oh, boiler room. So. But you were looking at replacing all four of them at that time. What, what, on this one, we were just doing the one tank that we had to replace. It's just replacing them with the, uh, the tankless water heaters. Well, that, the reason I brought it up is I had talked to some people that supplied the tankless water heaters and they were giving me a lot lower price now. They, that before they went out to look at what your installation would be. Yes, sir. But that's why I'm concerned with seeing these prices here. Yes, sir. And uh, what was the price that you got from these other people on installing? You said it was cost prohibitive. Did you actually talk to them about getting that price? We have to talk to Mr. Grisham. He after he told me it would be more expensive to put the tank list in. We'd have to do all that plumbing. That I didn't look into the tank list anymore after that. After talking to him since he was the engineer. I, and I understand that, but yes. still. Uh, he was looking at you replacing the entire system, all four of them. Which, if you replaced all four of these, you're looking at almost a <coughs> million dollars. No, sir. I was I talked to him about the, the one tank that was leaking because the other three was in good shape. And also, even the uh, representative of these companies, I have mentioned the tankless too, and they occurred that it would cost more money in the long run to replace all the plumbing and then put the 15 or 16 tanks tankless to replace this tank. Okay. The lower bid, the seventy thousand dollars, is that for everything removal and machinery and rental? Yes, sir. E everything? Yes, sir. Soup to, soup to nuts, as we say, right? Yeah. yeah. Or I don't know where that came from, but it's <laughs> yes, from getting man. I don't know what soup and nuts have to do with each other, but right. Do, do we know anything at all about this demand? Yes, mechanical. they've got representatives here in the yeah. and Thayer has representatives too. Um, they've both done work for us in the past. Okay. Has the work been satisfactory? Yes, sir. Yeah. I believe demand may have got a better price on the hot water tank itself. I'm sorry? The demand mechanical actually got a better price on the hot water tank. He was explaining that to me before the meeting started. I, Twenty six no thousand bucks. You could buy a car for that. Not much of one, but yes, you could buy a car. Not anymore, but I, but I'm the talking, point is made. I'm talking about a government sponsored yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, that's correct. I, I, so they're using the same product. Yes, sir. Same thing. Yes. Sir. 
I mean, I think the committee's trying to figure out why the discrepancy. Yeah. If you're if you're questioning it like I am, twenty six thousand dollars. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not an insignificant difference. No, it's I'm not. thinking a Cadillac to a Volkswagen. Yes, sir. And, and again, when we started looking at this, we had um, a ninety-four thousand dollar price on the tank, one hundred twenty-one thousand and one hundred and forty-seven thousand dollar tank. Oh, right. Yeah, I think that's going to be the tank. And does, uh, does it say anything about time frame for delivery and installation? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, um, 13 to 14 weeks from release date. Okay. Yes, is that a satisfactory time frame? Yes, yes sir, it is. Does the Sheriff's Department have a recommendation? Yeah, I'd like to recommend to go with um, the man mechanical. And also, you look at the tank. The tank is seventeen um, $7,000 cheaper than Merritt Buffet. Same size tank? Yes, sir. Okay. And same quality? Yes, sir. And they're coming from the same mm -hmm. venue out of uh, Okay. <coughs> I, I, I don't know how bad we're going to beat yeah. Steve up on this, but he, he seems yeah. to be quite resilient today. <laughs> I'm going to accept the bid from demand mechanical. Yeah, so. a bid, a motion, and a second from Commissioner Johnson. Let's do a roll call vote. Unless there's further, excuse me, is there any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, call the vote, Carl. Yes, sir. Mr. Phillips? Yes. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Aye. Commissioner P? No. Mayor? Yes. Commissioner Fritz? So we'll sign this one and pass it. Yes. Thank you all. Have a good evening. No, you Thank don't. you very much. Appreciate it. Do you need No. I got one of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't see Huh? Mm -hmm. That's why we do beer. Yes. Exactly. All right. Uh, while they pass it around and sign it, RC EMA HV HVAC replacement. That would be. How many bids do we have? We received one bid for the HVAC. Is that the one we're going to? Yes. One bid. Robert, tell me what we're replacing here and why. These are the. So we, we did a project at the EMA slash. Everybody knows it is the armory, I think. <clears throat> Back in 2015, we did half of the units up there, Old, older style units. Uh, we replaced them. And we have one, two, three, four, five units left that we've just limped along. One of them has finally gone out completely. Uh, it can't be repaired. The other units are 2007. Uh, one of those is barely keeping up. What's the capacity of this unit? How many tons is the unit that we're replacing? I assume it's a rooftop. These are, well, the. The Mitsubishi's are very specific because that building doesn't have a lot of duct work. So these are cassettes. Oh, okay. Uh, there's two uh, split units. And the only bidder is Miller, correct? Yes. And so how many units are we replacing, Robert? There's uh, three of those Mitsubishi's, the mini splits. And two of the Timstar? And two of the, well, right now there's two carriers up there, which Timstar is a carrier product. Right. Yeah. So their quote, I'll let you get to the quote, but the two Timstars are replacing the carriers, correct? Correct. I'll let you go over the quote. My apologies. Okay. That's fine. You said we replace a number of units. Uh, what, what was the year? 17? 15. 15. Is this the company that replaced them? It actually is. Okay. Miller. Uh, Miller's a local company? Yes. <clears throat> We've had good luck with them. They are very familiar with these Mitsubishi units, which are 
just a little different animal than most because the unit actually sits on the roof of the building, but it's not ducted like a typical HVAC system. It's got a cassette, they call it, that's mounted in the ceiling. Yeah. That's where the evaporator is, is put. And uh, it's really the only option you have for that building without doing what they call mini splits, where you have a unit outside, you drill holes through the wall and run all your piping in. What building is this going in? The armory, the uh, EMA. If you would spoon feed me as a baby, uh, this replacing those units, yeah. how, how do we make sure that the word is out for bids to come in for that? How, how do we how do we do that? I'm actually a little surprised we only have one because I had two people come out and quote it prior to just to get a familiar with the numbers who are on this list. Uh, we sent it to three of our three vendors, Roscoe Brown, Miller, and Lee Company. And I'm shocked that the Lee Company did not submit a bid. They knew about it. I mean, I, <clears throat> you, you said you did some preliminary work. Did they give you any idea, ballpark figures as it related to rates? They did. So the Lee Company, prior to that, uh, for a total replacement, if we did all the units at the same time, which is what we're doing, they were $47,253. That was their quote back when I did this several months ago. Uh, Miller, I'd have to add that up real quick, was more expensive uh, at the time, so they broke their numbers down here. They were 59000 So there was a $12,000 difference between How long ago was that? these two companies. Uh, Miller did it back in April. Okay. Uh, Lee Company was, well, beginning of April. A little over 30 days, 45 days. Yeah. Uh, is, is would this be a recommendation? Well, the new number that uh, Miller, the one bid we have, is actually four thousand dollars cheaper than what they originally quoted. Uh, not sure what, how they did that, but they, once it went to bid, I think they figured out. So Miller is the one that did the work before. Yes. And we're happy with what they've done before. Very happy. <clears throat> they were, they did a good job. And we're happy that they're local. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Lee is, I guess, yeah. kind of local. They have a new office right here in Murfreesboro. <clears throat> uh, we, we usually include them when we do HVAC systems, especially HVAC, we try to include them. I'm surprised Roscoe Brown didn't respond. I'm very surprised. You kind of wonder why. You know. Have they knew, and they all knew about it, correct, Robert? Yes, I think one of the issues is we needed to get this done soon, uh, July time frame, uh, because I had one independent contractor call asking to bid it. I said, absolutely, we'll send you a packet. Uh, and then he called back and said, no, we're, we're so busy, we can't, yeah. we can't get yeah. it. I, I told, I mean, I made it clear that there could be exceptions made based on equipment availability, because we all know it's, they, they don't just have these things laying around anymore. Uh, but again, Lee come to him surprised. They they didn't talk about any kind of constraint on equipment availability. Based, I, based on this quote, or is this a recommendation? Yes. I'll make a motion to accept the bid, the one bid that we got. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion from Robert Do we, we have a second? We have a second from Commissioner Boyd. Draw with that. Call the roll, please. Unless there is no further discussion. Seeing none, call the roll. Commissioner McAdoo? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Commissioner P? 
Yes. Commissioner Phillips? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Very good. All right. Thank you, Robert. Yes, sir. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is judicial cleaning. Yes. We have a box. We have, we received two bids on this one. And I will want you to explain what and the why on this one, please. This bid is for the judicial center which is currently under contract with Young and Sons for cleaning, uh, major cleaning, we call it. So they come in and nick the links and do a total building clean. Uh, we had historically had a day person that was there throughout the day to clean up spills, kids' messes, things like that. So when we changed over and went to contracted services for janitorial uh, a year ago, we we didn't have that hourly employee, <clears throat> county employee at that building anymore. So we, uh, Thank you. we had to get somebody in there. And so we sent that out for pricing and got in a day cleaner. It's separate from the Young and Sons contract. So basically we had two companies in there, one doing major cleaning at night. The other company had one person there throughout the day for four to five hours a day. It just took care of spills and toilets, things. This bid is going to cover everything. So this, the bids that we have here, that includes the daytime and the full deep clean at night. Uh, the other reason we bid this is because the original contract holder, Young and Sons, expires in July. So we had to rebid this regardless. Was there were we unsatisfied? Were we dissatisfied with the Young and Sons as a vendor in this regard? No. So there were few or limited complaints. Nobody gets by without having one, but in other words, we had we had some limited complaints in the very beginning, but that was part of the learning curve, I believe. We had the same issues with when we contracted all cleaning out, uh, but since then we've had. No complaints for a couple of years. Do you want this one? Yeah, do explain <laughs> the please. I tell you what, do me a favor, Robert. Pass that packet down to Commissioner P. If you'll read from the original and then hand me that back when you get done. If that's the award, okay. then I'll sign it and I can. I'll let these gentlemen, because I don't have a vote. Well, I do have a vote. I just don't have a motion. Yeah. We just get one quote. We got two. Yeah, we got two. Yeah, okay. we got the second one Uh, make marks on that original. I wish you, I wish you would not. Okay. No more marks. That's an original. Can we make it? Make mental notes, Robert. No marking on this. I got a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. Mm. Nothing we can't fix, Robert. That's, an, that's a very appropriate observation because as you were pouring through this, I don't look like you were trying to uh, rush through it. I'm just trying to hit the bullet points that I had on here to make sure I had thought the same. 
because we we meet again in June. So right. let yeah, let's do this. You've had a chance to scan it without remarking. Let's go ahead and open up the other bid, and then um, y'all hold those. Bring the original back over here, Robert, so I can hold on to it. And then, um, based on your observations, we may take uh, a recommendation from you about deferring this for uh, closer analysis. And then, of course, let, let's do that. I, I, I'm like Commissioner P. I want to make sure you have time to sit down and uh, study. That makes I a agree. lot of sense. This R and B. Do we do any business with them at the present time? Correct. R and B actually holds the current contract for the rest of the county. Okay. The judicial building is the one exception because okay. when we made this change last year, the Young and Sons already had that building under contract. Uh, through this year. So let's just see what the other, this is the second bid that current Yes, Carla? and this one is from Young and Sons. The Young and Sons, okay, thank you. And they're the, they currently are the, is that correct, Robert? They correct. currently do it? Okay. They do the, the deep cleaning nighttime. Right, like mm -hmm. for the courthouse, and they're currently. Yes. That's what I need to know, thank you. Okay. Question to you, Robert, as you scan through these, is there do you need a little more time because these are more like proposals and they're like it's a bid and a proposal, and I want to make sure we're able to compare apples to apples. Are you able to do that today, or would you like a little time? Special call. Oh, okay. So we're going to have a special call meeting on the 6th of June anyway, so we are in no rush, even more better. We so, take it under advisement. Would you like to take it under advisement? Since this is the great idea of Commissioner P. So moved. <laughs> <laughs> we will give credit where credit is due. We have a, did we have a second? Yes. We have a second. All those in favor of taking this under advisement and deferring to the June 6th meeting for a recommendation, say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Tuesday, June 6th. Yes. What, I don't know if that's a Tuesday, but I just see June yes. 6th. So. It is a Tuesday because we will have a bid for security. Excellent. That's excellent. Fantastic. So these are the originals. We keep yes. these. You have two copies. You can make your you can make your notes, Robert, to your heart's desire. Yes. Oh, you got one. Okay. Now we have extra copies. Do, do any of the members like copies of these? Okay. The only thing is when you come back with that bid, I've got a per cent per square foot off the R and B. I didn't see that on the uh, Taylor. You can figure that out. Oh, for us. I can. Yeah, we can do that calculation. If yeah, if it's uh, just, it get to, if, just if it's not too much trouble, as much as you can create a don't a rubric, uh, a rough rubric about a comparative analysis, so the committee can kind of as much as we can do apples to apples. And so I think this is an excellent suggestion, quite honestly. So there's a big difference in the price. Huge difference. It's, it's, it's okay. like double. Oh, yeah, yes. It's, it's so, more yes. Than double. so uh, Mr. Shu, please take your time. Yes, sir. But be on time. <laughs> the thing about it is, if we're happy with who's doing it right now. Thank you, sir. There's a, there's a bit of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing, right? Thank you. Yeah. And I have, I don't know what the prices are, but if there's that kind of discrepancy. 400000 to 130 something. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's a huge I can carry out my own trash for that kind of money. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Buy a new car. <laughs> Buy Here a new you go. Yeah. A nice <laughs> car. Of Several cars. Buy an ambulance for <laughs> our truck. And well, you know what? We could buy a couple. We could buy a couple ambulances. Uh, is there any other business? Seeing none, we're adjourned. Thank you, gentlemen.